Hi, I'm Tony. This is SV to Patio. And 2022. So, uh, very, very happy new year to you. Hope you've had a great one. Obviously, we've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, been, a, been a bit of a gap in the video series. But we're back, fresh, in the first week of 2022. Yeah, it's been a bit up and down weather-wise during that time. And, and work on the boat's been a bit sporadic, let's be honest. Clearly, we've had, you know, Christmas, New Year's. Uh, in the way, and a uh, family visit, which was very nice. And then uh, we've had varying weather. We've had some cold, frosty stuff. Um, and we've had some a few days, several days, where it was over 10 degrees. So um, what's been possible have been a bit... Bit varied, you know? In that cold stuff, you can't do anything outdoors, you can't paint, you can't epoxy outdoors. It's too cold for anything to, to set off properly. But um, as I said, a few days over 10 degrees where I did get some paint on, and you'll see that soon. And I think, well, certainly since New Year's, since, since the 1st of Jan, progress has been pretty good. One other thing, of course, is that you may remember a while back, you know, a couple of years ago, I suggested that um, 2021 would be the year that we'd be launching this boat, but as you may notice, <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, but I shall make a bold statement now. I would do everything in my power to launch this boat this year, 2022. We want to get her in the water, and I should be working hard to get that done. We're close, we're close. Need a keel, need to hang the rudder. The engine needs to be running, make some masts. Ship her up to some to a boatyard, obviously, but very, very close. Um, and those things will be getting on, pushing to get that done, get her in the water this year sometime. Ooh. Well, I mentioned the motor, the fact that that's, it's not quite ready to start up yet. There's one or two things still to do. And one of the things I have done is, as you might see behind me, I walk over and hope the camera stay focused. You might see behind me there a, a bronze through hull. That's the exhaust through hull. I'll step to one side so you can see it shining behind me. That's the exhaust through hull. So I had to get the exhaust in and finally connected up. Use the old Lloyd's approved rubber hose as is standard for exhausts. And we're coming down from the engine, uh, out exhaust manifold down to a, to a water collector, and then up to a gooseneck muffler, and then down to that bronze, to that bronze through hull. Uh, and it's gone in very tiredly, I'm pleased. I'll show you the, the system. It's very hard to film in there, in the engine room. When I'm in the engine room, to actually film me doing anything is very tricky, but I'll take the camera in there now and show you the way it's come out, and it's come out very tiredly. I'm, I'm pleased, particularly in that, that I haven't got exhaust hose draped through half the boat, which is, is commonly the case. Um, so this is a very tidy installation, I feel.
Yeah, so here we are under the bimini, and, and a, a couple of things have happened in this cockpit area. I shall, I shall grab the camera and uh, show you them. So first of all, there's a flock of geese going overhead. Um, we live out here in, in the country here, and there's, you know, you'll hear background noises, there's tractors going down the road. Here the geese. Anyhow, I'm pointing the camera at the at the engine control panel and. You may remember I changed its location so that it's now underneath the chart plotter and it's in and please do it there, it looks great. And while we're here, the other thing that's been finished, look, is the engine control lever. Got, I say, there are a few warm days. I managed to get coats of paint on there. There are six, six coats of epoxy primer, a couple of coats of top coat and it's finished and looking good. Very close. That one. Oh. 
And the last one. It's just hilarious. <laughs> Sitting there. I am a tree. <laughs> so look at me. No, I don't Well, here's the, here's the back of the engine control panel and plotter. And as you might tell, I'm, I'm just starting to put a box around that to, to hide all of that. Um, I shall save that bit of video for next week when it's finished and I can show you that in one, one swoop. But I've um, got a NMEA 2000 network coming in. The engine control panel to uh, engine connection loom going in there and, and much of that will be hidden in, in this box, this teak box that I'm making up from some bits of old Miss Molly leftover teak. Uh, but I say, save that one for next week for you. And behind me, you'll see the, the foam cut to shape now for the V-berth. Made a nice big V-berth in there. Um, it is long enough for me to lay down in. Uh, I, it's even with the, with the raised height that this foam gives, gives, gives me room enough to get my feet beside the mast, uh, so you know, it'll be fine, it's comfy.
This here is the last piece of foam that I've just bought. I, this will be going in the quarter berth. As you may remember, I did already cut a piece of foam for the quarter berth, but it's a bit of old mattress. Mattress is very heavy and I'm so happy with this foam. It's, it's comfortable and yet light. That I decided to buy some more foam, redo that bit in the quarter berth. I cut foam with a with a bread knife. You know, there's various ways to cut foam, but I like a bread knife. It's low tech, it's easy. Um, some people prefer an electric bread knife, which obviously saves them having to move their arm to and fro. But I'm, I'm happy enough with just a regular bread knife. I mark it out with a marker pen. It's actually the, the same marker pen set that I bought for the lofting line, so they've, they've done well. <laughs> they weren't very expensive. But marker pen. Use a sliding bevel to get the angles um, and then cut those, let's say, with a bread knife carefully. And it comes out well. Certainly good enough for the likes of me. Um, the upholstery cloth that I, I've mentioned in previous episodes has arrived and uh, looks great. And we'll be getting on to, to taking these cushions out individually and uh, covering them soon certainly if this sort of weather goes on very soon indeed it's chilly <sighs> And that's it for this week. Um, big thank you to you for watching. Uh, if you're one of the delightful people who support this project, uh, show your appreciation via Patreon or PayPal. You know who you are, and um, you know I'm extremely grateful. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll be back next week, and uh, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button, please. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.